Praise team to pump me up. I don't need a choir to pump me up. I don't need a pastor to pump me up. When I woke up and looked toward heaven, that's all the help that I needed. Go on, Reverend Scott. You don't get no help in What's here. going on, Reverend Scott? Well, Reverend Scott, why do you say that? For we live in a society where people are caught up in their five senses. In other words, they don't believe that God is real. If they can't see it and touch it and feel it and smell it and taste it, then they don't believe that it's real. See, I ain't got to see the Lord to know he is real. Because he lives down on the inside of me. For Psalms 37 and 25 says, I've been young and now I'm old, yet I've not seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seed begging for bread. That let me know you ain't got to give me nothing. For I got a God that sits high and look low, and he will supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. I wish I had a praying church in here. For verse 23 and 24 says, The steps of a good man that can mean a good man are a, a good, good woman, woman. Go on. are ordered by the Lord, and he delight in their way. Yeah. Though he fall, he should not utterly cast down, for the Lord uphold him with his hand. In other words, God is not going to let you fall. As long as you are in his hand, as long as you are in his will, you go ahead on. In order to move God, you got to be able to praise God. Not only praise God, you got to worship Him in spirit and in truth. For verse 26 says, He is ever merciful and leaneth in His seed in blessed. When I know that I'm the seed of God, I know I'm blessed in my going, I'm blessed in my coming, and you don't never give me a dime. I'm still blessed. Why do you say that way? Because the earth is the Lord and the food is the Lord and they got to wear the feet. Go on now. Glory. For verse 28 says, For the Lord loveth right. judgment and forsaken not his saints. They are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. So keep on holding your dollars. Uh, keep on uh, holding your nickel dollars. Uh, Cause you gonna need them sooner or later. For my God loves a yeah, job. Yes, yes. on. A just uh, Cheer forgiver. For St. Luke, I'm preaching. Go ahead on. This message is eating because some of you feel like that God has left you. Mm. And you feel like God has turned his face uh. away from you. Now go ahead you on. You feel like he has forsaken and abandoned you. Well. And you don't feel like it right now. Uh. Somewhere in this walk of life, yeah. Satan is going to have you to the point where you want to throw in the towel or have you where you want to give up or have you wonder if you saved or not. Can I just say, you need to let that devil know for God I live and for God, God I die. die. That's all right. But you always got to remember what Hebrews 13 and 5 said. Uh -huh. For the Lord, he has said, I will never leave thee no. or forsake you. If my wife walk off and leave me, uh -huh. God said he'll never leave me. Uh -huh. If my children leave me, uh -huh. God said he'll leave me. Go ahead if on. Ebenezer leave me, God said he'll never leave me. I know with God, he can do everything. But he can do everything. He, I'm in this I'm the prayer. I wish I had a witness in My God is able. That's all for right. Some of you, this evening, you have been running for Jesus mm. for a long time. Yeah. And you're at the point you're tired. You said, Rev, I'm tired of doing all I can. And, and it's just seemed like that nobody else don't want to do nothing. It seemed like the more I tried, it seemed like the more that the enemy come against me. But I come to encourage you and let you know that you have come a long way from where you started from. Ow, I know the road hasn't been easy. I know you've been through some difficult times in your life. You have went through some difficult situations, but God was already still there. 
How do you think you have the strength to make it? You didn't make it on your own. It was because God was standing there beside you. He said it's expedient that I must go, that the comforter may come to lead you and guide you. You better preach. You better preach. I still know that you've been through some pretty life-threatening storms along this journey of life. And that is the reason why a lot of you should be able to identify with this 82-year-old woman who said, I've come too far from where I started from. I, she said, nobody told me that the road would be easy. St. Luke, nobody told you that the road would be easy. Yes. People talked about you and called you everything beside a child of God. But I heard Kurt Franklin say, just stand. And when you stand in the midst of in the midst of giving God praise, people won't understand how in the world they're still being blessed. You need to tell them ain't nobody but God. God. Nobody but God. My brothers and sisters, no matter what you are going through on today, I don't believe that the Lord has brought you this far just to leave you. For the Bible declared in the book of Exodus, we saw the children of Israel being led out of the Egyptian bondage yes. into the land of milk and honey, better known as the promised land. For Pharaoh had placed such a grievous bondage upon them that they cried out to the Lord for deliverance. They day out, they are calling to the name of the Lord. And there are many of you right now, but it lays on your midnight bed of affliction, and you calling on the name of the Lord. God, I need you right now. Even though you feel like he has not heard your cry, he told me to tell you he already heard your cry, and he said your help is already on the way. Oh, brother Pharaoh thought he had the Egyptian. But God sent a man by the name of Moses uh -huh. to deliver them from their bondage on now. and to lead them out of slavery and servitude. For God said, I'm sick and tired of you beating my people. Uh -huh. I'm sick and tired of you mistreating my people. Uh -huh. So I'm going to send Moses, somebody to lead you out. But even the devil got into Moses. Look at here, Moses. You know you can't talk. Can't talk. You know a stuttering box. But how many of you know we serve an all time God? The God said, All you gotta do is open your mouth, and I'll be your mouth, please. I come to tell you when you stand and open your mouth, St. Luke, that God said, He'll be your mouth, please. I find your name is a name of nobody but God. For the word of God began to let me know. That when they came to the Red Sea, there was no way to cross the yes. Red Sea. For Pharaoh had changed his mind. And he decided, oh, wait a minute, if I let all these people go, then who's going to make the bricks? Who's going to work the crops? So Pharaoh decided to send all his people in an effort to get his people back to Israel. But the word of God began to let me know that once they got there on the bank of the Red Sea, they were now considered as sitting ducks. Without a duck, they didn't have no way to go. But you got to understand they had no defense. They looked like everything was coming to an end. But how many of you know at the same loop that my God is an awesome God? For God knew that the Pharaoh had caught up with the children of Israel, that he would make their life mirror. But I can just imagine in my sanctified mind and just visualize what Moses said standing there on the bank of the Red Sea. For Moses began to assure the people that God had not brought them this far. To leave them. Just to leave yeah. them. For the Bible didn't say this, but I believe that Moses said, wait a minute, people. And you know how we are as a race of people. We the word these were black people. And he probably told them, you need to calm down and stop raising up the roof. For God didn't bring them this far. To leave us. He told them, don't get upset. Stop being afraid. Go Don't on. be feeble-minded. Don't act funny 
Go ahead on. Go ahead on. Don't we at the place? Yeah. The Lord that you got to understand. Yeah. We serve a mighty God. Yeah. We serve a jealous God. And I don't believe it brought me this far. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I've been in the church a long time. I don't need to praise God no more. I don't need to. Whenever you stop praising God, it's time for you to die. Come on here. It's time. The Bible said that Elijah had so much power in his bones that they threw a dead body in the grave. That's all right. Let me see it. Let me see it. Eighty-three years. Yes. Nobody. Yes. Have to tell you to say amen. Amen. Eighty-three years. Nobody have to tell you to clap your eighty-three years. Ain't nobody got to tell you nothing. All you got to say is show me where they lay. The Bible said a firm and proud of the righteous man of vain and righteous. But what happened when all of us get together? Oh, what a party we ought to have. I'm going to leave y'all alone. The man of Saddam told me to act like I was in Ebenezer. Excuse me. Go ahead on. I'm going to act Well, that's all right. 